Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, history has proven again and again that any nation that attempts to curse Israel or to divide Israel, which is God's holy land, it ends very bad for that nation. You want to try and divide God's land? you will be judged and divided. In fact, in the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 3, we read, And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Scripture makes it very clear. Do not mess with Israel. Do not touch God's holy land. So let me just share with you what I came across from my friends over at Now the End Begins. Again, go over to nowtheendbegins.com. You can find this article, but also the Jerusalem Post is reporting on this now, and so is the Times of Israel. Uh, but this is recently in from Now the End Begins. Look at the title of this article, folks. Final solution. Joe Biden tells audience at the United Nations that Israel must be divided and given for the creation of of a Palestinian state. Let me share with you some of the article from the Jerusalem Post. Listen to this, guys. The United States plans to seek both the normalization of the Jewish state with its Arab neighbors and a two-state resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. U.S. President Joe Biden told the United Nations on Tuesday, just today. This is what he said. Israel's greatest normalization and economic connection with its neighbors delivering positive and particle impacts, even as we continue to work tirelessly for just and lasting peace for Israelis and Palestinians, two states for two peoples, he said. You heard that correct, folks. Joe Biden just told the audience at the United Nations today on Tuesday that Israel must be divided and given for the creation of a Palestinian state. Again, God's word makes it very clear. Do not touch Israel. Do not attempt to divide my holy land. But you know what we see happening right now? It reminds me of what's recorded in the book of Zechariah. When you go to Zechariah chapter 12, I'm going to read the first four verses. The burden of the word of the Lord for Israel, saith the Lord, which stretcheth forth the heavens and layeth the foundation of the earth, and formeth the spirit of man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about, when they shall be in the siege, both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. We know what the Bible says is coming. But to see the president of the United States, Joe Biden, stand up before the United Nations and say that Israel must be divided and given for the creation of a Palestinian state? All I can say is, wow, we are living in the last days. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around this world right now at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive, and Jesus is coming back, and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking, and it is sinking fast, just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. The bottom line is this. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. Any other way you try to take 
will lead you to an eternity separated from God in the most horrific place you can imagine, a place called hell. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe he died on that cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.